welcome Libra friends. Doing your heart spread today, end of September, we're calling it. Energies. And um, if you haven't seen four eight card spread, uh, look at you and your person, kind of ends up in the shape of a heart. And um, it reads who's in your mind, who's in your heart consistently. So I also have a singles reading. We do that on regularly. I hope after the 1st of October, moving to get better internet, basically. Uh, among other things, not just that, but yeah, I would anyway. <laughs> it's like impossible, uh, possibly slow. It can't be fixed, but we're going to get there. So we'll be adding those uh, full readings. And today's Thursday, so it's always Libra Scorpio with the heart spreads. And it'd be the same with a singles reader, any any uh, astrology sign based reading. If it's Libra Scorpio, it's going to end up on um, Thursdays. But I just uh, foresee those uh, heart spread here. Meet the soulmate read, which is for only if you're super duper single with no one on your mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see here. We have for a Libra in the September time frame. This is going to be you. I'm going to put on my glasses. Well, I love this cancer energy, but. The chariot, um, it's got to be feeling triumphant, um, feeling aligned. Uh, and I try to read this a little bit separate from your energy for your person in this reading. Um, I try to read this as um, kind of just your energy specifically. Um, and maybe having gone through some spiritual path, feeling like you've aligned yourself, um, achieved a spiritual victory, you know, um, like the Six of Wands, you're getting this victory parade, but this is like um, a victory parade uh, from spirit, um, you know, for having like maybe chosen the right path, and um, I feel it's like a big time alignment, and, and with this kind of energy, I mean, you could manifest from that energy, so I'm thinking, you know, you could be a manifester here, maybe consciously. You look at the star on the top of her head, right, like, you know, above her crown chakra there. Um, so, it's a great energy to come into a reading with. It's pretty wide open. Um, it could even imply movement towards someone, like maybe kind of be your energy it's kind of like I'm ready to move towards someone you know um, and your person's coming in with the five of swords now fortunately I do in terms of this relationship you're thinking of this person they could be an air sign you know uh, maybe Gemini Libra Aquarius but um, this is their energy I tried to attach it from you um, but they're probably in a very contentious like divorce or contentious breakup um, I always see the Five of Swords, and this card, you know, um, does does it well. Has a very fierce uh, fighting, um, and you know, there's a. It's actually blew my mind. It's a football player. I heard this from, uh, of all things, uh, you can't win a relationship, and this is kind of like, for some reason, to try to win the relationship. But I think this is their past energy. But they are facing you in this reading here, uh, Libras, and I think it's clear that thoughts are swords, so, and communication, they would be bringing this energy to you, literally in the form of communication. And with the chariot, like you could be receiving it. I kind of leave it to you how that feels, but to be clear, I think that they're bringing this uh, negative energy from what was going on in their past relationship. I feel like it's probably still going on, and um, so if if you just keep receiving it, it right now, I get the feeling like they might keep bringing it. You know, it could be that they just need to get it out, get it out, and then they'll settle down. But they're still they're putting it all on you. You know, chariot, you may be able to handle it. I'm gonna tell you what. Now the hair font comes in. I, I just taking a little twist because this is like the way you're reacting to them. I see this man going from the chariot to the hair pot. That's deeply spiritual movement here. 
um, in aligning. I said this chariot could, this is most definitely now aligning with your higher self. You feel that this person is like a soulmate and that, that you feel that when you're with them, you feel that you're aligned with your higher self. It's almost like you feel like your purpose is with them and probably marriage. You know, in Catholicism, it's a vocation marriage. You know, it's your, you know, it's your job. Um, <clears throat> and you're looking right at him, you know, or her, either way, not male or female, him or her looking right at him, okay? And that's how you're feeling about them. So we don't want to uh, pull the bottom. However, I am, I am keeping in mind the bottom now in this reading. You got the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a love relationship here um, we're talking about. Um, in other words, you you got someone on your mind. It's, it's pretty deep with the Ace of Cups, uh, at least in terms of feelings here. Yours definitely. Now, them reacting to you, the hermit. So clearly, they're not in the shape you're in. Um, if this is a twin flame situation, you would most definitely hear uh, Libra be the activator and your person would be the sleeper. And it looks to me like, you know, I'm not sure how to take this. It doesn't seem like um, with this hermit here, um, that your person is being awoke <laughs> by you. Um, it's like, because their, their reaction to you is kind of the hermit energy. Um, that's kind of taking a step back. But I'll say this now, the hermit is looking down at this five of swords and away from the reading. And the hermit energy does go inside and point the finger at ourselves. It's very good energy. Maybe they're doing this because they see what you are, the thing you are, and they realize that you're not whatever it is they're dealing with here, this very difficult energy. And so actually for them to become the hermit is probably not a bad way to go. It would mean them detaching from their ex, whomever, and focusing on their selves. And I believe like kind of in preparation, like they realize you're bringing this hair font energy and I think this is a, their way of kind of stepping up to the plate by stepping off the plate and doing the right thing and looking at themselves. Particularly now, if you begin to see them pulling away from all the time, just, well, talking to you and crying on your shoulder, well, they did this and they did that. When they start talking to you more about their own deep feelings and awareness and what they got out of it, you'll see them uh, begin to detach. Um, and that, I think that'll be healthy for you. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, this is your advice from spirit towards this person. I kind of see this as your advice from spirit is to support them 100%. I gotta tell you, when I see the Ten of Pentacles here, you know, it very well could be physical. Um, you could, this could be someone that, you know, um, coming out of a divorce, uh, if you might need physically to help them financially be clear uh, at least like you got to dinner you're probably gonna be the one to pay labors you know what I mean uh, maybe um, they're gonna want to come to live with you but I gotta tell you when I see the ten of pentacles from advice from spirit I don't think it's about hold on to your pentacles it's like you you look you've got plenty what you want is this divinely inspired love that you think you have here like the one Wow, this for your, if there's a cross watcher, this is so important, and share this, Libra, with your person, all right? And ask them to like and subscribe. <laughs> but wow, advice from spirit, Ace of Wands, it's like, uh, light it up, you know, cross watcher, light it up, what are you doing, you know? Um, yeah, it's good to look at yourself, and take responsibility, um, but, you know, let's meet this person with some fire. And I, I know I'm not supposed to say this, but this feels like a male over here, Libra, and you're a female. Or they're expressing this male energy. And um, um, kind of like I said, it, they're taking it seriously. I like the hermit right now. I mean, this is not an easy relationship, right? You get that, right? It's like, you know, but it's like I see you here have an amazing patience, the chariot, the hair font. Hair font over the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Jesus, that's no more solid. How could you get much more solid than that, you know? Um, so 
you would be financially solid, you wouldn't be worried about it, um, and you know, emotionally solid, everything, physically solid, sound. Your Ace of Cups here is the overall energy, that's an interesting, it's like a blessing. Three of Swords, okay, I think this is about your person here, really. And this is uh, advice for the relationship. Now, there's no reason the advice for the relationship can't be to one person. Because maybe the linchpin, what I'm getting out of this, and it's, remember it's coming three of swords between your ten of pentacles and their ace of wands. Um, so also they would be coming to you. Again, I get you receiving them in, you know, in love. Um, but someone has to deal with this three of swords energy. And that would definitely be them coming in with this five of swords, you know. Um, so it's like that the relationship is predicated upon your person here, Leo, uh, Libra, uh, dealing with this energy that they have coming into the relationship. I mean, they're obviously bringing it in. And I know they want to. They're probably doing the right thing with the hermit. Um, it, I really love that their advice is Ace of Wands because it's like Spirit is saying, look, it's, it, you know, you don't... Uh, the way I was explained, one thing does not have to die so that another may live. You know, but what that means is, yes, you can be the hermit, set responsibility, do the work, and at the same time, cross watch you go out on a date with this Libra and blow it out and have a good time, you know, that you've got to put this behind you and not carry it into this relationship. And you can do that by simply having that intention and talking about it. Look at this outcome. You know, when you guys talk about it, and then I think you're very capable here, Chariot, here upon Libra, uh, when they drift, if they do drift, kind of be like, honey, you know, it's like we're kind of beating that dead horse again, and what's what's going on, why do you think you're having those feelings, and try to really get at it, and that's where Spirit's telling both of you, you know, you're more solid here, Libra, maybe you're, you know, you sold, sold contracts, you know, last time they helped you out, maybe now it's your turn to help them out and talk about soul contracts. The outcome is the Six of Cups. So it's, uh, as an outcome, I gotta see this as soulmate connection. Boom, I mean, it's like uh, no other way uh, to see it. Um, and I think you will do this, um, and you're gonna end up with uh, basically like a soulmate connection. Um, it's, a, it's a long way for your person to come. Um, and there's going to be issues of trust, and I think they're working on it. I think with your help, you got to be not Libra, and you got to maybe say uncomfortable things if you see them, because you don't want to be telling people how to be. But on the other hand, if they're sincerely trying, it's like you can kind of be like, well, that's, you know, that stuff, isn't it? I mean, you know, <laughs> isn't everything okay between us right now? This is mostly being very okay. Mostly, I see like an emotional, it may be hard to feel, see uh, see now with your person. I think you're kind of six of cups energy all the time, emotionally balanced and everything. Uh, but your person like might hear that and go like, I don't see myself being there. But they're going to get there, uh, Libras, uh, with your help. Thank you, guys.